Okay, in this tutorial, we're going to demonstrate to you how you can disable the automatic Windows 10 updating feature, okay? All right, now I'm gonna show you ordinarily where it should be, but where it is not now. All right, so we're just gonna go down to Start and then Settings, and then we're gonna go down to Update and Security. Now, ordinarily, this is where the uh, option to disable the automatic updates would actually be, okay? Um, but unfortunately, it is no longer actually here. All right, options gone. So, to disable the automatic updating feature, all right, the first approach I'm going to show you will uh, apply to Windows Home and Professional. Okay, second approach will only apply to Professional. Okay, for Home and Professional, all right, what we're going to do is simply go down to Search and type in Control, and then click on the Control Panel Desktop app at the top of the results. Once the control panel opens, you're going to go to, uh, up to the upper right where it says View By, and you're going to change that to Large Icons. Okay. Next, after you've done so, you're going to go ahead and click on Administrative Tools right here. All right. Next, after that, you're going to Locate Services down the list. Double click on that to execute it. All right. Once the Services window opens, well, the Services snap in. Scroll all the way down to the bottom and locate the Windows Update service over on the left. So we're gonna double click it. All right, now, this, uh, this actually controls the Windows Updates. All right, so to stop it from doing the automatic updates, just simply click Stop, okay? Now, if you just do it this way, it only applies to the local session, okay? But if you wanna permanently disable the automatic updating, go up to Startup Type and select Disable, okay? And then just OK out of this. All right, you can see down here now where it says it's actually disabled, okay? Now, this will apply immediately after you do it, okay? Now, if you ever want to re-enable the automatic updates, you're going to have to come right back to this area and then double-click on Windows Update, change the startup type back to the way it was, automatic, delayed start, click Apply in the lower right while it takes its time, and then click Start to start it back up. Okay, then it will go right back the way it was before when it was installed, installing up updates uh, in the background. Okay, now, uh, all right, and like I said, that this approach applies uh, to Windows Home and Windows Professional. All right, second approach will only apply to uh, Windows Professional. Second approach is uh, by utilizing the group policies. All right, so what we're going to do is we're going to press the Windows key in the lower left of your keyboard between the Control and Alt key. And then we're going to press the little R's and Raymond together. Once the run command opens, we're going to type in MMC, which is Emmons and Michael, Emmons and Michael, C is in Charles, and then we're going to press enter or click OK. We're going to click yes at the UAC. All right, now this is the Microsoft Management con Control, the Microsoft Management Console, sorry. So we're going to go ahead and expand this, so we're going to enlarge it. So what you're going to do is click on File in the upper left, and then click on Add or Remove Snap In. Next, you're going to scroll down the list on the left and double click on Group Policy Object and then click Finish for the local computer and then click OK. All right, next, we're going to go over to where I'm going to stretch this out just a little bit so we can see. All right, we're going to go ahead and explain local, uh, expand local computer policy. All right, then we're going to expand computer configuration. All right, then we're going to expand administrative templates. And then we're going to finally expand Windows Components. All right, let me stretch this out just a little bit more so we can still see. All right, so what we're going to do is we're going to scroll down on the left a little bit, and we're going to double click on Windows Update. All right, next over on the right, we are going to locate Configure Automatic Updates. All right, should be the fifth one down. We're going to double click it. All right, now by default, this a uh, particular policy is not configured, all right? So what we're gonna do is we're going to enable it on the, in the upper left, and then right down here under Configure Automatic Updating, we have some options now, all right? We have uh, Notify for Download, Notify for Install, Auto Download and Notify for Install, Auto Download and Schedule Install, and Allow Local Admin to Choose Setting. Now what I'm gonna do is select Notify for Download and Notify for Install, all right? This way, uh, it will prompt you to download and also prompt you to install the updates. 
uh, thereby uh, hopefully bypassing a lot of the, uh, you know, uh, uh, bypassing some uh, possible uh, driver conflicts in the future. All right, so all you have to do at this point is click OK. All right, and you can see where it says it's enabled. All right, now after you've done this, you're going to have to go ahead and restart your system for this setting to uh, take effect. All right, it will not take effect until you restart your system. Okay. All right, so all we have to do, we can go ahead and just close out of the uh, close out of the console here. All right, and that basically does it uh, with the two approaches to disable the automatic updating within uh, the Windows 10 operating system.